Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the Windows 11 moment for update, which has just been released on the main release of Windows 11. And this is a major update for Windows 11. It is basically the major update that Microsoft releases once a year. It was marketed as Windows 11 23H2, but as of now, Microsoft decided to release it as a feature update for Windows 11 22H2. We're also going to discuss about this in the following minutes because I think there's an explanation to this. And of course, in this Video, I'm going to show you also how to install this and we're going to briefly talk about some new features that you can encounter in this new major update for Windows 11. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Before starting the video, I want to introduce you to private internet access. Using the internet without private internet access is like leaving your phone unsupervised in public places. All it takes is one quick thief to grab it. A virtual private network or VPN VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Private Internet Access is the world's most transparent VPN provider with over 30 million downloads and their no logs policy has been proven multiple times in court. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using Private Internet Access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. With Private Internet Access, you can also unblock restricted content such as news websites for Canadians, which have been blocked in the past month. And you can use one private internet access subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. First thing that you may notice with this major update for Windows 11 is that it won't be the version 23H2 maybe until October. And as I've said, Microsoft decided to release this huge feature update for Windows 11 22H2. I think the reason for this is that they want to introduce introduce AI to all Windows 11 users in the main release and that's why they are releasing this update to Windows 11 22H2. If they were to release this in Windows 11 23H2, users had the option to not install that update, therefore AI wasn't integrated in their systems. But Microsoft with this is integrating AI in Windows with a new Copilot AI Assistant in Paint in Photos and more apps and I think it's a good thing because you'll see there are a lot of useful features. As I've said in this video, we're only going to talk about them briefly but maybe tomorrow we're going to release a full in-depth video of the, all the new features that you can encounter in this update. I think it's going to be a long video because there are a lot of new features. So first of all, how to install this update, just go into the settings app, go into Windows Update, and then make sure to turn on get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Be among the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes, and improvements as they roll out. You're going to have to turn this on because the update is now basically rolling out as an optional update until the next month. So if you turn this on, you won't get all the latest features. Then click on check for updates and you should receive the build and you're going to notice that the update will be installed pretty fast because it is not a Windows 11 version upgrade or anything. It's basically a feature update which will add into your system a lot of new features. The main highlight of this new update I think is the new Windows Copilot AI Assistant which is a new assistant in Windows 11 which is using AI but you need to know that you may not get Windows Copilot right away. For example on this machine I don't have Windows Copilot because I'm not eligible. Microsoft is running an eligibility program and it's deciding whether you are eligible or not through some requirements but follow the next steps in order to be able to have a higher chance of getting Windows Copilot just go into the settings app happen here region and then go to region settings and make sure that your country or region is set to United States then also make sure to open up with the registry editor on user account control click on yes and the registry editor just navigate to H key current user software then Microsoft as you can see then Windows then shell copilot and then Bing chat and here on the is user eligible the word 32 bit value double click on it and make sure the value data is set to one click on okay and then you can see if that works for you also make sure to open up the microsoft store and update all your apps because the windows copilot AI assistant is based on microsoft edge and the bing chat so you need to make sure that you have all your apps updated so that you have a higher chance of getting windows copilot but you're going to see a screenshot on the screen of how windows copilot looks it has a new icon compared to the dev channel or academy channel builds in windows 11 and it it can do a lot of new things at the moment. It can also open apps, it can change your system theme, it can generate images for you and do a whole bunch of other settings and functions inside your Windows operating system. I think it is very, very useful. And if you have it, make sure to try it out and leave feedback to Microsoft because they are listening to feedback pretty closely in my opinion. Also, another big thing in this update is the new file explorer, which comes with a new homepage, new details pane, new address bar, new gallery section, which is very nicely improved. 
improved. And also another highlight is if you go into taskbar settings and then taskbar behaviors, we have the never combine taskbar icons. You have here the option combine taskbar buttons and hide labels and you can set it to never and you are going to have this here, basically the never combine taskbar icons. Also inside the settings app, there are a lot of new features. You're going to notice a lot of updated dialogues in your homepage and other new improvements. Also on the taskbar, you're going to notice a lot of features such as the new volume mixer and also the new installation process. If you're installing this build from an ISO, you're going to notice that it's pretty different because we now have voice access that can help us in the installation process. There is also an option for present sensing. And also after you finish the installation process, depending on what you selected, the purpose of the OS would be for, for example, development, it will open up the new dev home app or it will open up other apps as an example, the get started app and so on. And there are also updates to a lot of apps. For example, the notepad app has updates with an auto save feature tabs. Also the paint app now has AI integration with the background removal tool. And you're also going to notice layers inside the paint app. And also the photos app has been updated, the backup app, the phone link, and basically all apps have received major updates that I think make this update pretty important. And I strongly recommend you install it because it is a good one, has a lot of new features that users have requested for a long time. So as I've said in the coming days, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to release an, an in-depth presentation of the new features that you can encounter in Windows 11 moment for update, or we can call it 23H2 because in October or when Windows 11 23H2 would be released, it won't have a lot of new features. It will just basically artificially change the Windows version from 22H2 to 23H2. So as a reminder, if you are on the main release, make sure to go into the settings app, go into Windows update, make sure to turn on get the latest updates as soon as they're available, and then click on check for updates and install the latest update. Please don't forget to leave me a comment below stating your opinion on this new huge update in Windows 11. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Ozzy Manu from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.